the sun wings. Theta's gift. Now I can take to the skies. I don't understand. Why can't I do this? <laughs> Do I have to have that selected? Let's give this another try. Okay, this looks promising. That did it. <laughs> Data here. Another set of coordinates for some kind of cache. Looks like I have one more stop to make. I think I'm close to the coordinates for the Vista Point cache. Keepsake and a message from Elizabeth. Hello, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Sobeck. Thank you for completing the Vista Point tour. I hope it's given you a better idea of the work we do at Miriam Technologies. But more importantly, why it is so critical. As you've seen, life is fragile. And as my mother once told me, it needs our support, our care, and our love to survive. I hope this message, which is the core of Miriam's mission, means as much to you as it does to me.
Feeling better? Shut it with you. Feeling better? Shut it! <laughs> Get wrecked, Aaron. By the ancestors. You're back. Is that? I'm sorry. It's broken. Our last hope. No. There has to be a way to fix it. How? We just need to replace the batteries and the sensor unit. Right, because they're just lying around a jungle for us to find. Wait. The ancient fleet. It might have what we need. What ancient fleet? When we abandoned our ship, we were washed ashore on a beach southwest of here. There were ships built by the ancestors there. Overseer Bohai will never let us go there. He won't risk losing any more navigators. He needs us to guide the fleet home. No one's going home without a working gyro compass. I can get them for you. You'll need to look for a sensor unit. They're usually on a ship's antenna. And batteries. Three of them. They're small, so they might be hard to find. I've got something for that. We put our faith in you once again, Ancestor. They want me to go find some double A's. Okay. I can provide you with powerful weapons. Mysterious and find ancient ships in this area. We should take a look. Those ancient ships have got to be over somewhere. Maybe I should call down that phone a while ago. Won't let me swim. Looks like there's a shipwreck on the beach. Battery. Better take that with me. Harriam said I needed three of these. She also there said they were small. Here somewhere. Well, it's not small. Uh, 
My antenna might have the sensor unit Harriam and Christia need. Antenna's broken. No intact sensor unit. Here I come! find any ancient ships in here. How was your day today, Mom? Besides tiring. <laughs> Christian need to fix the gyro house. The doctor's report was really good. That's excellent. Source. Must be a battery. Just need one more of these. The ship's antenna. 
Let's hope the sensor unit is still intact. Six more weeks. Oh, sensor unit. But there is an old recording. This is the USS Anchorage. Halen. Anyone who's left. The Medina. The Omaha and the New Orleans are down, and the swarm just cracked the Harris open like an egg. Incoming! Hold on! The lead Horus is heavily damaged. If we can concentrate fire, maybe we can still take it down. I think we've got a ping on the Hamilton! Another better. Should we it? Lost yeah, it! Sensors down! We're sailing blind! Sounds like their sensor unit was taken out. But they were trying to reach other ships. I my focus pick up the coordinates. If there's more wrecks there, one might have an intact sensor. Get in there. Here we go. Faster way to get to those coordinates, I found. I guess that means you won't get to smoke crack for six more weeks, huh, Mom? Because they'll pick that up. Somebody out there is going to be like, oh my god, your mom smokes crack? Yes. Not with the left hand, anyway. Okay, fair enough. ship has an antenna with a dreadwing perched on it. Great. Gonna have to deal with it before I can look for the sensor the Quen need.
Metal fangs and a primary nerve. Okay, where are the metal fangs? Uh, where's the dreadwing? Metal fangs are right on either side of the face. Okay. Should be able to check out that antenna now. I don't think he gave me the primary nerve. No. But I did get the two metal fangs. Sensor unit. This should be all that Harry and Christie need. Looks like there's one more transmission in here. This is the Hamilton. Anchorage, your transmission has been received. Targeting the lead Horus. Just lost the starboard missile battery. Can't fire. We're empty. Damn it. Captain, there's nothing left to fire. Your orders. Set a course for the Horus chassis. Ramming speed. Ending, is it? Well, 
Well, that's a bummer. That was the only place I could find a Dreadwing. Let's uh, filter. Machine sights back on. There's no Dreadwing locations here. Almost like the game doesn't want you to use Dreadwings. I don't see a Dreadwing spot. Blint Hawk. There literally isn't one. That sucks, man. Well, oh well. Maybe there'll be a Dreadwing hunting location in the DLC. Ow! Back, Harry. I found what you need. <sighs> Thank you. I'll get working on the gyro compass immediately. I'm coming home, Meandra. You've done us a great kindness, Aloy. Christy is not the only one with people waiting back home. She'll be able to fix that gyro compass in no time. We'll never be able to thank you enough. But this should be a start. If you need anything, tell Bohai to contact Alva. I'm sure she can help. May the ancestors steer us true. Is your shoulder doing all right? I can't believe we're actually going home. <laughs> First, we need to put this thing together. Tain to the Sky Killer. Jesus. Holy God, that's almost better than my current spike thrower. And it's not even upgraded. Hold on. I've never seen anyone take on a thunderjaw like that. Right, man.
Apex Stalker, Dreadwing, Primary Nerve. It's all the way up to 327 Blast. What's my current one at? Three fifty one. So my current one's better. Huh. Weird. Somebody's armor is up there, huh?
This is the mountain we're out to know close up with the storm did. Rika's armor should be around here somewhere. Fragment of Farika's armor. There must be more. I don't like the sound of that. Whoa! It must be the Stormbird that killed Farika.
Okay, sorry about that. Stormbird. Got a more bit of armor lodged in the machine. Another armor fragment. Try my focus. <laughs> Looks like another bit of armor. I guess that's it then. I should let the Tanakh know I recovered what's left of Farika's kit. Shouldn't be jumping balls. around here. Well, good thing I have a little something called strategy. Talk about the love all the time. In the name uh, of the uh, rebel who beat me. Uh, Carl's on. I'll strike value in his You're great. So if you could, Keep your did you try bright. to ride on something? We saw you fly. Did you find Farika? I was able to retrieve her armor. What's left of it anyway? She didn't stand a chance against that stormbird. Ah, uh, I see. Painful end. But not without glory. So, what do you think? Was she the first to fly on the wings of the Ten? She was brave. And spent a fair amount of time in the air. I'd say what she did qualifies. She flew! I knew it. The first to fly. As her successor, you should keep her armor. You can fix it up at the workbench. This way. 
Once you repair the armor, you're welcome to it. You take after Farika. Bold, brave, and a diplomatic liar. She met a harsh fate. Let her have the title. Fair enough. It's kind of you to show such humility. Quest items. Sky climber. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if it dies well. Face painter. Odin dire. <clears throat> oh, it's up there. Legends walk among us. Well, I'll go this way. To take to the skies. Seek out the wisdom of the vision. Right. If we want to reclaim hey, our honor, we must do so in battle. Any decisions Fala. needed? Well, I'm made a direction. Short proof to peace, champion. Look, isn't that? If we want to reclaim our honor, we must do so in battle. The outlander should be more careful. Your blade be bright. May your feet be valiant. Since it's below me. You don't have to do this, you know. Or she, whatever. Was it? Guy Climber? Hmm. I want take to another look. Join the pool. Pass. Good to see you. <clears throat> Okay. Hey, uh, Mr. Know-It-All is here. You know, you're focused, buddy, who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Oh, no. <clears throat> well, Silence. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. 
Your plans for the Zenith base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again, at the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, well, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. It's a proton pack. <clears throat> oh no, you first. Put them in bunk beds. That'll get everyone in the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Hey, Aaron. Yeah? I was thinking we could spar for a bit. When you have the time. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. Might be a way to deal with my... Anger. Yeah, beating the crap out of me makes you feel better. I'm all for it. Aloy. It appears that we have some interesting new guests. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. Hey, John, are you still here? Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. Have you talked to any of our new friends? Aaron and I tried speaking to Silens, but apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal, bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. I have to go. I trust you to keep things civil around here? I'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch Silence in the face, if that's what you mean. Thanks. You... you flew? Kotala told me! And took out Regala's machines? Oh, you know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors... and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. I hope our new <clears throat> guests have been behaving. <clears throat> the Silence... he's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith shields? He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind, 
welcoming. Our spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. I suppose you saw that Tilda is here. Our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths or just scared of her. Probably both. You sure you're okay going on this mission? I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. Uh, I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command, too? Guess the more the merrier. I need to wrap up a few things, but stay sharp. I'll be ready when you call. I haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten, and paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am... <sighs> inspired. Thank you, I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. Your people keep mentioning the Wings of the Ten. What exactly does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings, and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. It is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. And now, you have done it. <laughs> like the deeds of the Ten themselves. It will never be forgotten. So? Tell me. How did it feel? I won't lie. Pretty good. I can only imagine. I think lurk means two different things, but for me and you. <laughs> so, um... I'm about to talk to Silence and Tilda in real life about attacking the Zenith space. Is this really, really, really close to the final mission? Things will get ugly once the Zeniths realize we're in their base. You'll need every trick you've ever learned. I would have it no other way. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we stood here today. We will endure on their behalf. Though, I am curious how you intend to defeat the Zenith's defenses without an army of our own. Leave that to me. Just make sure you're ready to fight. As you say. You have more than earned my trust. Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that... doesn't seem natural. I wouldn't be surprised if my sword went through her and... and she didn't bleed at all. Honestly, with her, nothing would surprise me. I have to go, but I'll be briefing everyone on the plan soon. Understood. Aloy, you came back with some interesting friends. I wish I could say we don't need them. But Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, Catalo tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bulks trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon with the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? 
I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping he'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. I better get going. Oh, you know where to find me. Let me put 11 points. Looking device. I have Berserk Blast. What do we have over here? Hunter's Mark. Power Shots. Ranged Master. Uh, over shield. My death. Got all of that upgraded. Traps. That one looks good. Of this. Let's go save real quick. I see you, champion. Sit, please. There's someone in Arrowhand who's been looking for you, champion. Goes by the name of Moralo. Sounded like he had something important to discuss. Well, Try to stop by Arrowhand when I can, then. Interesting. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. to get in the air.
Anyone up for a game of machine strike? In the time it would take me to get a full strike at a try, you see that I can already jump three half strikes. Your enemy is Conqueror of Regala. They're still just champion of the Grove. I want to reward you for what you did. Oh, seems like I have a fan. Any news on your father? Aloy of the Nora. You honor us with your presence. She who has found the wings of the Ten. No need for ceremony, Chaplain. Very well. May I ask what brings you here? Just checking up on Arrowhand. Draka's death didn't go over well, but Yara has been true to her word. Water rations have flowed steadily in. I'll keep watch here until someone emerges to take Draka's place. Looks like it's in good hands then. I should get going. May the Ten guide your way. You said something about rewarding me? You don't have to. Regala had to be stopped. That battle was almost the end of me and my partner Sosek. During the fighting, I was surrounded by rebels just as I saw a machine about to strike him down. Then your bomb fell from the sky and he was saved. We all were. I can't properly repay you for what you did, but I can offer you something. You really don't need to. Honor is payment enough for any warrior, I know, but Greenshine will buy more blades. I discovered a cache of it inside a cave on a mountain to the southwest of here, right at the edge of the desert. It's guarded by machines, but if you can fly in and bomb them as you did in the battle, you can claim the Greenshine for yourself. Hmm. I might give it a try. Do you want me to bring some back to you? No, no. It's for you. All of it. The least I can give you for saving Sosek's life. I only wish I could be there to see you swoop from the sky and claim it. A cache of green shine could come in handy. Sounds like I'll have to fly up there. And a bomb from a Horus would make dealing with those machines a lot easier. Up there now too. But maybe I should follow that Tanox advice and get a bomb first. There's a Horus just southwest of the Osirum in Vegas. That should have a bomb. Well, that's the thing about Skyrim, is you can't complete every mission in Skyrim. Because the game starts generating random missions.
There's the Horus. Time to pick up a bomb. Machines. Must be the spot Morala told me about. This bomb should come in handy. Time to drop that bomb. That should make things easier. Got to finish off those machines and pick up that green shine. Clear of machines. Time to find that green shine. It's a shame adhesive arrows don't exist. Adhesive weapons do exist, just not arrows. Oh, 
on me. I can send it to my stash. It's gonna be tough.
hope that's all the machines I have to deal with. Still didn't get the nerve. And that sucks. There's the cache. I just need to get past those vines. I should pick up that green shine now. Thanks for giving way. It was nice of that Tanakh soldier to point me this way. I wasn't looking for thanks, but I'll take it. Still no Dreadwing location. This will break my fall. Anything I'm missing before we go do that? Just races. I don't care about races. Talk to the pit master. There's nothing to do there. That's the pit. That's the pit master fight that I can't do. I don't want to. Well, I guess that's it then. If I could farm the Dreadwing, I would, but there's just... The game doesn't give you a place to farm them. Yeah, no, I know, but you probably weren't here for the last pit uh, that I tried to do where I did all the commands exactly as instructed and it wouldn't register them. Like, I don't know, it just wouldn't work. And I'm not going to beat my head against that wall. be a PC issue. Could be. Could be.
But it's like the game was telling me, like, to do this attack, you have to attack three times, then pause, then attack again. No, 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 it was the opposite. It was attack once, pause, attack three times. And no matter what I do, I could either attack three times with no pause, or I could attack once, pause, and then would allow me to attack twice, but it would never allow me to, to hit that third one for some reason. Sounds like a glitch, perhaps. No way to really know. Keep your eyes open out there. You should have missed this I've chance got nothing to trade. Alright, I am going to go ahead and stop there for tonight, everybody.